Hi guys, got a request for help here from Aisha Aziz. She's got to make a rubber band powered car for a project. Uh, she's got seven rules here, or specifications. The vehicle must be powered by only one number 64 rubber band. The rubber band may be modified or cut in any way desired. The rubber band must be contained on the car itself, no slingshots allowed. The energy of the rubber band must be delivered to one of the axles of the car, no propellers. No toy car parts may be used, the only acceptable materials are cardboard, paper, tape and glue. One plastic straw or pieces thereof and two pencils or similar wood pieces for the axles. Paint may be used for decoration. The car must have a minimum of three wheels, no maximum limit of wheels, and the testing and contest will be held outside on a concrete surface. The whole car must be behind the start line. OK, well I can't test it on a concrete surface, so we'll just have to make do with my kitchen. She does say elsewhere it's got to go 10 metres. Well, my kitchen's only 5 metres long. So we'll just have to see what we can do there. Um, and that's about it. I'm sure she said I could use paper clips. But I can't see that on the list. It just says cardboard, paper, tape, glue. Plastic straw pencils. Hmm, got a problem there, because that doesn't meet what she said in the first part of her message. Yeah, just check back. There was a typing error there, I think, because earlier on in the conversation she says we can use paper clips. And the car has to go 10 metres with a speed of 2 metres per second. OK, I've done some hot gluing. Just to reinforce where I've put the bent paper clips into the cardboard body or chassis. And I've made sure the paper clips are bent so that they stick out sideways to keep the wheels away from the edge of the chassis. So we don't get any friction with the wheels rubbing against the side here. I've done the same at the front. I've also bent another paper clip to go just there, hot glued in place, to hook the rubber band round. And now I'm thinking of using this sticky tape. Getting a piece that's going to be long enough to go the full length the car and then folding it I don't know if this tape is strong enough I might have to use some thicker tape but this is to make myself a string that I can attach the rubber band to the back axle. I've no idea if that's going to be strong enough, but we'll find out in a minute. Test run time. So this is my sticky tape. It's not stuck to the back axle, it's just wrapped around it so it's holding on to itself. And it's tied onto the rubber band and the rubber band's hooked onto the front. So, I'm winding up the rubber band. But I think this car's too light and we're going to get a lot of wheel spin. Yeah. I need to shorten this bit of tape because that's too long.
right, we did about three meters there, which is nothing like the ten meters we need to do, but it's a start. Okay, I've done some modifications. I've added another layer of cardboard on the back wheels, so now they're three layers of cardboard thick. Uh, that might possibly help the grip because they're wider, but it should help the grip because they're heavier, so they'll stick to the ground a bit better. And the other change that I've done is I've cut the rubber band in half along its length and then tied it together so it's now twice as long as it was before. Oh, and I've put a bent paper clip on the back axle to act as a hook to hook the rubber band onto. So, let's see how we do. Well, that's a definite improvement. My kitchen is five metres long and we've done about another two metres, so that's seven metres. So I'll just try winding it up a bit more, because if we can actually hit the front door we've done nine metres. up the camera this time. <laughs> oh. About three inches short of nine meters. But I think that's good enough. That shows the principle. So we'll do a quick summary. camera still. So what have we got? We've got cardboard discs for the wheels. Uh, they're about the size of a CD. They're thick cardboard. I've used the same cardboard for the body or the chassis. The axles are pencils and the axle bearings are bent paper clips that are bent round the axle but they're a loose fit so it spins easily and they're also bent sideways to make sure that the wheels don't touch the body so we've got minimum friction and then the rubber band I've split along its length so I've made two rubber bands out of it to give me extra length and we've just done just about nine meters with it. So with a little bit of extra work you should be able to get your ten meters. So I hope that helps.